fans. Welcome, race fans, Spectator Drags USA, the only channel, say it, the only channel on the World Wide Web dedicated to Spectator Drags. Anything and everything Spectator Drags, this is your spot, this is the place to be. What a week of Spectator Drags we had this uh, past weekend, uh, the weekend prior, actually before that, at uh, Seekonk Speedway, Seekonk, Massachusetts. All the guns were out, and I'm telling you, it was just from top to bottom um, a sick day at the track. So, yo, here we go. Uh, go over to NEM TV. Go to T-Berg Media, um, Seekonk Raceway Media. Go all three of those channels and watch each one from each channel. Give them all a watch. Give them all a view. Uh, they're posting up. They're getting onto these races and giving us the sick video. So thanks to all of them. Uh, also, today we are also going to continue our thanks and to uh, some of the friends of Spectator Drags USA who have helped us along the way. Carlito Mello, uh, if you need a car to be sold or a boat or a trailer, uh, Carlito's Customs. I'm, I'm here on Instagram. You can find him, Carlito's Customs. Look at all these cars. And look at that Cadillac. Nice dirt bikes. Vintage cars, uh, new cars, high-end cars. You got Ferrari in there, motorcycles, boats. I mean, listen, if you need something sold, Carlitos Custom is your spot. Go give him buzz. And also, you know I've been talking about my man Jesse at Jesse's Custom Design with some of the dopest airbrushing. I mean, on this, I mean, I'm going to say on the whole continent right now, the kid is absolutely slaying it. And I found a video that I got. So uh, go find him on Facebook, Jesse's Custom Design. Uh, but yo, this will this will say it all right here. And that was like seven years ago, or whenever. All right. All right I'll what, show you. What something. else do you got? I'll show you the coolest thing any any fan ever got. Listen to this. Right. Um, <laughs> so I did a gig in, in Boston. I'm a huge hockey fan, and this guy who, who custom paints goalie masks. Right, sure. Look at this. Burr. Oh, it says Burr, Burr. on there. In and Bruins it's got color. the Bruin B. Yeah. And on this side, it's got, look at that, it's got George Carlin, Richard Pryor. Uh, on this side, I play drums as a hobby. So they used to, in big band days, they would, they would say BR, like Buddy Rich, Led Zeppelin, because I like John Bonham, and Steven Adler's skull from the <laughs> Appetite for Destruction. Let's and go. On top, uh, I'm a Ford guy. I also say, uh, go, you know what, yourself at the end of my podcast. So the F word is written like the Ford logo. Can't that. <laughs> and on the back, uh, it's the Cuso Neal. Oh, let's go. Isn't that incredible? That is awesome. And he just gave it to me. And look, I could barely thank him. And he left. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> let's go. I mean, a Bill Burr endorsement is pretty solid right there. Jesse's Custom Design uh, on Facebook. Uh, he's got a website, Jesse Custom Design, as well. If you need anything spray brush, spray painted or airbrush, whatever you need, he is your guy. Anyways, let's get back to racing. Sick week at the track this week, I'm telling you. Um, and, you know, you know what we're going to do before we get into uh, what we're going to watch here? I, I think we need to uh, get into a just a, a, a highlight. This is just one of the highlights. I mean, this is what you might see at Spectator Drags. I mean, look at this guy. Yeah. You got the C10 pickup, but then you got, what's that, like a Thunderbird on the inside with the hood <laughs> and the wheels. I love those BBS wheels. Yo, good race. That truck is set up. One of my favorites at the track for sure. I mean, but that Thunderbird is absolutely ripping Tom out of the corner sideways in the pickup. I mean, that Thunderbird is right there. Let's go. The teal Thunderbird. And the C10 pickup, I mean, spectator drags. You just don't know what you're gonna see. Too dope. This is part of what made this weekend uh, two weeks ago just so dope. So awesome to have these, these kind of cars here. Let's, that T-Bird is no joke, dude. <laughs> let's, hell yeah. Oh, let's go. So you're going to tell me why do people go spectator drags? Why do they do burnouts even though they didn't win the race? Because it's awesome. <laughs> That's why. Because it's freaking sick. And uh, mad props to both those guys, Tom Kazunas, and that uh, blue uh, Chevy truck is just an absolute ripper. I love that truck. 
uh, since before um, I, I happened to, to meet him at the races. The car has just been just an icon, a ripper. And then my boy comes out in the T-Bird. Uh, I think it's a manual, I believe. It must have a 5.0. I'm not, I'll have to find out more about that car, but what a ripper. So what, what we're going to do now on uh, today's race, you've seen the thumbnail. Uh, Matt Matt in his uh, 82 or 84 uh, Chevy Z28 thing is a ripper. Uh, what we're going to do, and this is going to be a first time, I haven't really done this, but I'm doing this now. I'm going to showcase the top three races. Uh, in this video, we are going to see, well, I'm not going to give it away, but you'll get it after this. But um, here is the first of the podium. Th now, these next three videos, like I said, this one today, uh, Matt in a Z28, he, he podiumed. And then the next two videos following this will be the other two people on that podium. So it is definitely sick. Um, and... Uh, Let's just get into it. Come on. Let's go. So first round, you saw that thumbnail, Matt DeRosia, and that nasty Z28. So dope, dude. That Monte Carlo, yo, prop to this guy, too. Doing a little break stance on the line. Yo, that thing's a ripper with friggin' 20s on it. <laughs> oh, let's go. Matty with a tight turn. Oh, 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 no, spins it around, oh, yo, oh, Andy gets, oh, you know what, we're going to watch that in the second view, we got the privilege of watching this, we're going to take this all back, we are going to take it back to the beginning, we're going to go from this angle on this one, let's, uh, let's speed that up, I mean, that, Mo that Malibu, I mean, that Monte Carlo is, is pretty fresh. I love it. Clean body. Let's see it from this angle. Oh, he just, listen, he's got 20s on that thing. Straight hammering it down the back. So, oh, look, he's getting sideways. Coming out of two down the back already. Getting it, getting it <laughs> rotated halfway down the track a little too soon. I mean, he, look, at he's on the hammer right here. He, hammering it. Gets it sideways, spinning the back ties, I'd imagine. Has to stab the brakes. Gets a big... Big tire full of grass on the <laughs> inside. Uh, but he is all right. He gets it started. And he gets to race another day. <laughs> oh, and he gets to race another day. So, yo, Matt props out Monte Carlo. Uh, Matt DeRosia in round one takes him out. Taking out the, the Malibu on 22s. Can't lose with 22s. All right, here we go. Yo, now this is a good race. This is sick. We got Matt DeRosier in the Z, and then we got Paul Curtis in the 64 Chevy Chevelle. That thing is pretty dope. Old school classic hot rod. Long history with that car. Oh, look at him lining up tight. Everybody wants to win. Woo! Let's go. Hammering it down the back. Oh, and Paul just did a little sideways. Woo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He decides to send it around after the finish line. Let's go, Paul. He's out there having some fun. That is a dope car right there. Absolutely love that one, too. All right, let's bring that back uh, all the way to the beginning. And let's see who got that jump. Let's see who got that jump off the line. What do we got? Right there. Oh, it's even. Look at that. I'll go back a little bit more. Boom. That's a good start right there. Both both cars on the hammer at the green light. Uh, Maddie just got, I mean, he just he just got that power. Now, he. I'm telling you, that car is built. He's got some power in it, so it's no slouch. Uh, neither is that 64 Chevelle. I'll tell you that. We'll get a video on that one as well. Believe you not. But, oh, uh, look, so they just come into turn one. Maddie down low with those brand new tires. I don't know what he's got, 335s or something, <laughs> but look at those tires. Uh, and Paul, right right up tidy behind him. He's got a little bit of body lean. He's set, he, that car's dialed, though it handles well. He's got nice tires on it. Um, Matt's car just down low. I mean, it's going to take a lot to come around him. I like this move, though. Paul, s he knows what he's got to do. He goes up wide. Hammers it towards the wall. Look at that. Gets within a few feet of the wall. 
Now, Matt's already on the break on the inside low with line, so he's going to watch it. He gathers it up. Paul tries to, you can see right here, he tries to dive down off a three, gets into turn three, and right in the middle to turn four, and just probably is rotate a little bit too fast. Or, I mean, that's a lot of car to handle, so it's hard to tell, but he gathers it. But at that point, Matt is already off to the finish line now. Knowing Paul as he is, even though right here, he already spun. He knows he's not going to win this particular round. Uh, but yet he hammers the throttle. Anyways, coming out of four, no giving up until the race is over. My man Paul hammers it and just at the finish line sideways. <laughs> he just stabs the brakes a little bit, sends it into the grass, and he'll be fine to race another day. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, that car is absolutely sick. So congrats to Paul. Uh, that was round two. Tough race. I mean, it could have been anybody's race. I'm telling you, Paul is no slouch, but Matt is on fire today in this race. So I, I like doing this in the top three. Now, I, I want to do other um, cars that we did not finish in the top three, but this is pretty sick to watch. It was a great day driving. Let's get right into the round three here. Round three. Matt DeRozier. Matt DeRozier. Ooh, let's go. Going again up against Jeff Daniels in the Subaru Outback. Off the rev limiter. Ooh, Daniels might have missed a gear right there. He also, ooh, come and get sideways out of two. Woo. <laughs> Matt, moving on. Now we definitely got to bring that back. Uh, we all, we have two angles of this, so let's uh, bring that back to the beginning and let's see who got that jump first. It looked pretty pretty even. Oh, right there, look at uh, yeah. I mean, there it is, right there. I mean, Maddie looks like he he's. I mean, there's a suspension difference, but it looks like Maddie just gets up on those back tires a little bit quicker. Uh, but the Subaru's got that all-wheel drive, so it just it, it comes off the line a little bit different. I'm, and I'm, look at he had the launch of Subaru for the first 50 feet, maybe 40 feet, and it looks like right. I'd say right there is where he missed a gear. That's probably second gear right there. Uh, and Matt is just gonna steamroll into turn. Let's see where he takes that line. Look at nice. I mean, he's about as tight as you can get down low, Matt, right there. And those tires just gripped up. Look at that. He's a foot off of there in the turn one. He almost apexes there. Starts to unwind the wheel. Now, there's nothing much. Not right now. I mean, at this point in the game, when you're behind in first, uh, in second place, I mean, you all, your only thing you can do is pass first, right? So, and you got one lap. So, the only thing you're going to do here probably is go wide. Uh, you're probably not going to go low and get him on the inside. Depends on where number one place is driver, where Matt places his car, but as you see, um, Jeff goes up to the wall to get that speed, but you can see right at the top now, he just boosted off a second. Because look at right here, he's he's getting his ass sideways. Look at that. Bah, bah. I'd say if he waited a little bit more to get up higher. So he tried to do the high-low the high low uh, maneuver, and that may have worked if he was a little bit further down the track. He was coming on the inside, but um, it's just not going to be enough. Matt is just on a, on a killing rip today. Matt, he's just on her. Now, let's see. Um, let's see that from the other angle uh, and see how that looked, too. Because that, I'm going to see if we can see what else happened here. So, we see the launch. Yeah, you can hear the announcer even says Daniel stumbles a little bit. Look at that launch coming out, too, though. Right there. Oh, you see him get sideways. And how this turn look. Nice. Let's bring that back. Uh, this video is from uh, NEM TV. Let's go, baby. And also t Berg Media for the other ones. Thank you. But let's we get to see a great angle now. We're at a different view. You can see him come off the turn right there. He's sideways. Um, he probably let off maybe a tad, uh, it looks like. Uh, got right back in it. Uh, but at that point, you can see the position of his car. He's he's aiming. Uh, a you can just see where he's angling at. It's way pri It's way earlier in the turn. Matt is still kind of parallel with the with the straight back there, uh, but because he got sideways, he had to slow a lot of speed. And Matt again, 
Just a nice rip and turn around three and four, just like turn one and two. Nice and tight, a little bit higher up now because he's got some higher speed. But uh, I mean, it's looking all of that composure. Uh, and um, Jeff Daniels is just one nasty competitor too. So great race to both of them. Maddie moves on on his road to the podium. I mean, just doing what he has to do every race, getting that launch. Uh, getting a good start, and then just a real committed turn one and turn two, flat foot three. I mean, he just enough to get around three and four without any problems, and, I mean, he's just putting on a freaking clinic. Let's go. So, we oh, we got round four. Ooh, against Carlito Mello in that built uh, 90 uh, Eagle Talon. Woo! That thing is just on fire. DeRosa trying to go on the inside. Oh, oh, he had the move. Oh, oh, yo. Let's. Sick race right there. That is a dope, dope race right there. Let's see the other angle from that now. Yo, we got ourselves a race. Let's get that up to the line. We can see this one. Now, let's, um, actually, this is, we're going to bring it back. We'll just watch this in slow-mo. Uh, let's see who gets a start. Oh, look at Maddie with the launch right there. Boom. But that little built talent, though, of Carlito Mello. Let's see where he gets it, where Carlito moves. Right there. You can see now Carlito's moving right there in between Maddie, already setting it on the chip and getting on those back tires. But in that short distance, look at, I mean, now, Let's see. Oh, let's see. That is crazy. Look at this. He's there, right? So that's the start. You can see right there, right when that front end goes up on the Z, on uh, Matt Z, he's on the power. So right now he's on the gas. Right there you see him moving. Carlito gets after him and still pulls. Let's see who gets that white line first. Oh, they bo he's just a little behind. <laughs> what a start in that little talon. Dang. And he just hits one, two gears. And then he comes in tight. Look at that game. Look at that maneuver. He comes in nice and tight because he wants to keep that tight line too. So that's a solid. Look at that. That's great rate, that track position right there in turn one for both the drivers. Now, compared to uh, Matt's previous uh, couple of rounds, he was much tighter in turn one. So all I can imagine is that he either got a better launch this time or somehow carried a little bit more speed coming in turn one, which was pushing him wide a little bit. So I can see right there, he's starting to get a little oversteer uh, on those front ties. You can see that. Uh, and let's see, Carlito on those 220, I don't know what he's got, 225s on those little, look at those teeny tiny ties on that thing. <laughs> that thing is so sick. I love that car. Um, Look at that. Boom. They both coming around. I'd say just a tiny. Oh, there you go. I mean, maybe a little bit of oversteer on the talon, maybe, but they come around that backside. They both go the talon again, going high to the bur to the bank, to the wall. Look at that. He's 10 feet off that wall, getting carrying a lot of speed. Dab dabs a break a little bit late. Look at um, Matt stays on the gas. Look at the. Clip the talents on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Maddie's gas finally gets onto the gas a little. Four, look, he comes in hot to turn three. There we go. And he, look at that, boom, gets uh, gets in there and under the, I don't know what's going on. The clip just kind of came in. Maddie was right there. Maybe, oh, I see. He comes a little bit wide and the talent allows him to go under. Oh, yo. Oh. Uh, I got to see that from the other angle. We got to go back to the other angle. All right, we're seeing this one. You can see how that plays out a little bit better from this angle. Oh, they're coming around. I mean, g a great one and two, really, other than a, maybe a little bit of speed. Over, maybe a little bit too high of speed for Maddie in that one and two, allowing the push a little bit high. So he had to, he was overstanding maybe just a tad. Uh, but you got that nasty talent on the outside. Now, Maddie had it on the inside. Hey, he had a nice run. And I think he just maybe had a little, bit, a little too much speed or maybe he let off the throttle right there. I mean, a lot could happen. Um, and at that point, your tires are heated up and cooked. He thought, uh, and then he just oversteers. Um, doesn't matter how much traction you have. You kind of just oversteer. You can see it. He's turning. And Carlito taps the brakes and comes on the inside. I like that maneuver. 
He had no way to go on the outside. Comes down below and drag racing to the finish line. Wow, what a race. Woo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a race. Yo, so that was round four, I believe. So uh, Maddie is going to race here. Uh, this will be for the uh, number three spot. Number three spot. Let's go. Who's he going against? I think we got, let's see who's got this. Woo, there we go. This is for number three. There we go. We got, again, nice lines. I mean, oh, Liam. Solid. He'll take home the three spot. All right, let's see if in the other lane, let's take it back. Let's see if he gets a jump against uh, two buddies right here. Both these guys are good friends. It's Liam on the inside. Um, looks like I'd say they both got fairly quick. I'd say if anything, it looks like maybe the uh, Matt's car is launching a little harder right there. I mean, or maybe they just have d different suspension setups. You can see that front end come up on, on that Z on the outside. Um, drag race down to, to one and two. Nice middle line. Now, I like uh, both people's, uh, both these cars have great front tire position. Look at that. Um, you can see no one's understeering. Uh, they're both coming in this turn real good, real gripped up. Just enough steering, um, steering input to get the car around the turn, keeping that throttle heavy. It's going to be a fast back straight, still a little bit low um, for both those cars. You know, you could have pushed up another car to the a car towards the back wall, but still, I mean, a lot of power, a lot of speed in these cars. They come into three and four. Um, I'd have to say maybe the uh, Red Z uh, is just coming in real hot and has to turn real tight. Probably has to wet off the gas or tap the brakes. I don't really see the brakes, but just left the gas. And, you know, just upsets the rear end a little bit, gets it sideways, and Maddie's moving on and takes that number three spot. Another sick race. That is a killer competitor right there. Uh, Liam and that red uh, Z right there. That is a dope car. Fast as hell. Oh, that's dope. So that's sick. So that's it. There you go. Uh, Maddie takes home the number three spot on the podium. Uh, congrats, buddy. Good racing. Just absolutely ripping out there. I mean, yo, I mean, you see him on the track. You got to give him props and throw some respect on that name because he is putting it down. Uh, I know he's got some work in that car. Listen, I mean, that ain't no just your daily average uh, Z28. The motor's worked. I'm pretty sure I, he, I'd imagine he's got uh, some trans work. He's got the big old tires. He's got the great suspension. And he's got the driver mod. So <laughs> congrats, buddy. Uh, that is sick. Oh, and um, why don't you go check out him and everybody else over at uh, Circle Track Savages on YouTube. Uh, go check them all out. Uh, subscribe to that channel too, Circle Track Savages with uh, Crazy Blazer Guy Charlie. Uh, it's a, it's a sick channel. Go check it out. That's today's races though. Yo, stand, uh, tune back in when you get the uh, whoever is at the number two spot on that podium. We're gonna follow that person in the next video, and then we're gonna follow whoever got first. Now uh, we did get a little bit of a teaser or slightly of a spoiler in this uh, <laughs> in uh, this video, but you'll have to wait and see how that played out. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you go watch those races? Go watch them on T-Bird Media. Go watch them on MTV. Go watch them on Seacon Speed, uh, Speedway uh, YouTube channel. Go check it all out. Uh, give them all some views and awesome likes. That is today's video. Thanks once again. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Let's effing go, baby. Spectator drags. Yo. Get your car out and race. Let's go. You got, I mean, yo. If you got your car and it drives and you got a license, get out there and race. <laughs> Shit is sick.